So I think because I slowed down on episode 5, what I'm going to do is combine episode 6 and episode 7 so I can continue to move forward. So basically episode 6 is peep acquisition. And the reason I feel like I can combine these is because one is a really slow, deliberate motion where you're really focusing on kind of bringing the housing together with the peep. And you're, you're, he gave you some really good tips on kind of acquiring the pins first and, and basically staying kind of in that bottom quarter from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock as far as how to acquire everything. I've already really paid attention to making sure that the aperture from my peep meets the aperture or the, the outer rim housing on the actual scope housing. So I feel like I've got that one kind of under control, but I was much more deliberate and I was taking more time to actually acquire the peep and, and thinking about facial pressure and the, the those you know kind of things from episode six. But where I really feel like I struggle is episode seven, which again is more of just kind of like a full body physical thing, talking about that, uh, the release and the follow through. And one of the things that I noticed on my episode five video, and, and somebody actually pointed out in the comments, they said, make sure you're following through. And they were absolutely right. I was 100% not following through on the shots. I've always been a little bit lazy and that's something that I feel like has affected my accuracy, you know, downrange. So that's something that I really start uh, need to start paying attention to more and something that I really focused on while shooting this. I guess we'll call this episode six and episode seven. And this is what I'm going to be practicing all week long this week. I already did this hat, but I'm shooting this bow because they didn't give me a hat. Come on, Prime. You got to give people hats. I got that crappy Bowtech one. I picked up my Matthews the other day. I got the Elite cap, so I just threw the Elite cap on, so I'm going to represent Elite while I'm shooting the Prime. I had a plan today. I was so excited to get out here, and I was going to literally shoot most of the day and make videos and just kind of go through all the bows. And then I flushed the toilet this morning. Then I got to do this instead. So this has been fun because pooping inside is important. So I realized that one of the reasons I'm putting my front arm up and then collapsing it down in order to, to get the drawback is I, I've been told that by other instructors that that's kind of a proper way to do it. But I also realized that it's because I'm not strong enough to be pulling a 70 pound bow, bow or a 75 pound bow or an 80, uh, or an 80 pound bow on a consistent basis and hold that form. So I think what I'm gonna to have to do in order to continue on is actually drop the poundage on one of these bows. And I'll probably start doing it with my Traverse so that I can keep all these other guys at 70 and, uh, and do the reviews. But for now, I'm gonna shoot the Prime and I'm gonna do the same kind of thing that I did with the Elite where I kind of circle around and go slow-mo so that we can see how the shots are coming off on this. And I'm gonna to continue to practice, even though the poundage is a little bit high on this one, I'm gonna to continue to practice the, uh, the next episode of School of Knock, trying to build on what we've learned so far and build on what I've learned so far and some of the deficiencies that I'm realizing that I have uh, because I didn't exercise as much as I should have in the off season. And I'm paying the, uh, paying the price for it now.
So even watching back through the footage of the slow-mo shots that I'm doing, I, I'm, I'm realizing that I'm probably stopping short and it may be because of how light I've got my release set. I don't feel like it's insanely light, but it might be a little too light. So I'm gonna try one more time being really conscious of, of trying to get that, that arm back and then finishing, you know, with, with what Dudley's talking about uh, with your arm above your bicep. He did mention flexibility and obviously I've told you guys before that that's a problem for me, but let's just try this in a really exaggerated manner. thing I will say this thing certainly made for an enjoyable practice session today so far I'm a big fan of the prime bow